Favourable conditions have helped crews contain a large blaze on North Stradbroke Island that's been burning in difficult terrain. And for the first time, the ABC takes you into the fire zone to see the damage it's caused, including to sacred Indigenous sites and koala habitat. Even after the fire rages through, the job isn't over. If you get hot spots under the, under the trees, they can get going, especially in the, in the heat that we have. And then once they start, start sparking and embering, the embers can travel for miles. Crews have worked through day and night over the last week and are finally hopeful they may have the upper hand. The conditions have been rather favourable you know, over the, uh, during yesterday and overnight, which has allowed um, the firefighters to um, have a positive outcome. But the ferocity of the flames has shocked even long-time locals. When you're fighting in front of it and it's coming towards you, it just sounds like jet planes coming at you, the roar of the fire and wind and everything off of it. This gives you a bit of an idea of how hot and strong this blaze must have been as it ripped through, disintegrating nearly everything in its path. Now, more than 3,200 hectares of this land has been burnt on the island. In its path, a number of sacred Indigenous sites. So we're working very closely with the traditional owners uh, to ensure that um, those areas are protected. There's a lot of middens and Aboriginal artefacts and stuff that are in areas. Vital koala habitat has also been wiped out. Pretty much uh, entirely decimated, isn't it? Yeah. Aerial bombing will continue to be a necessary tool. Crews from across the country will remain at the popular tourist spot for the rest of the week. They're godsend. <laughs> Even with the extra help, it's been a trying couple of weeks for emergency services. New data from the Bureau of Meteorology has revealed just how extreme the hot, dry conditions have been along much of Queensland's coastline. Last week, record-breaking temperatures were recorded in many areas, including Cairns, Townsville and Proserpine, which all sweltered through temperatures in the low to mid-40s. A much-needed cool change will come as a big relief in the form of a weakened but rain-making ex-tropical cyclone Owen. Alison Horn, ABC News, North Stradbroke Island.